Hello everyone, this is Harshita Bhargav from Jitkara School of Hospitality and in this session we are going to discuss about policies in functional areas. So let's understand first what do we mean by policies. Policies are journal guidelines for a code of conduct in an organization or we can say these are rules, regulations and journal norms which are to be followed by each and everyone in an organization and functional areas are different departmental areas through which an organization performs its routine working. So we would discuss about policies in various functional or departmental areas of a company or an organization. So let's start with first human resource or personal policies. Now we know that every organization is different. The nature of products or services which it provides is different from one another. So, we would generalize these policies in different areas and would study what are the different components or elements regarding which policies should be formulated. Likewise, if we talk about human resource policies, then policies related to competent and motivated employees should be formulated. Policies regarding employment facilities like package, compensation, regulations, administration policies like recruitment, selection, orientation, career development. And in the same way, policies regarding feedback should be formulated in an organization. Some more factors are also there for which policies should be formulated in human resource area or human resource department like training, public welfare or public relations, turnover policies, working environment policies, work study, time study and motion study policies. So these were various factors or the components for which policies should be formulated in an organization. Now let's talk about financial policies. Likewise, HR policies, there are certain important components in the finance department also for, for which financial policies should be formulated. Like, what should be the policy regarding earnings or dividend? Or we can say, what should be the dividend policy of an organization? What are the return policies? What are the profit margins policies? What are the credit rating policies? So they are different components or elements for which policies should be formulated in an organization. In the same manner, for marketing department, policies should be formulated regarding product, place, price and promotion. These four P's are most important and given by the father of marketing who is Philip Kotler. So, policies regarding these four P's must be formulated in each and every type of organization. Next is product policies. That means, now what are the various factors, elements or components for which policies should be formulated in the production department? Like, what are the quality policies? What are the quantity policies? How do we deal with our customers? Or what are customer services policies? What are product line policies, packaging policies, accessory policies, product development policies? So they are important components or elements for which policies should be formulated in the production department. So this were all about policies in different functional areas of an organization. Thanks for the for watching the session.